Well, if you're looking for some holiday cheer, you'll find it in bloom at the new Phipps Winter Flower Show. Yeah, the theme this year, home for the holidays. And it's beautiful to see day or night with twinkling, twinkling lights throughout the displays. Our favorite garden guy, Doug Oster, stopped at Phipps to give us a personal tour of the show. Welcome to Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. We are going to explore the Winter Flower Show with Associate Director of Exhibits, Jordan Molino. What is the theme this year? The theme is Home for the Holidays. It's a wonderful combination of whimsical and elegant. Well, talk a little bit about your inspiration as we walk through here. This is pretty. And I know it's a Jordan show when I see blue with Christmas. I love <laughs> blue and Christmas. Me too. Uh, and our visitors, when they come into the Palm Court here, they're going to see this beautiful combination of golds, whites, and reds. And of course, a little bit of blue. You got to have some of that nice contrast. But I love the whimsy of the oversized gifts with this oversized tree. Well, I see orchids and poinsettias or poinsettias. I say poinsettia. I say poinsettia. I think they're both <laughs> correct. Um, but I really enjoy this combination. Red and white is a really nice contrast. Um, red poinsettia atla, um, white, white peace lilies, and uh, white and red oncidium. And I just love that combination. I see a little bit more blue. Yeah, talk <laughs> about blue. This room is for you. I just love how snowy it feels in here, especially with the cascading lights overhead. Um, this like the snowflake trees and our snowy cabin in the woods in the back of the And then room. what is the snow on the ground? I see some white poinsettias. White poinsettias, white euphorbia, and blue pansies. I love pansies for winter. Great use. All right, Jordan, I have never seen anything like this before. <laughs> yeah, this is a new variety uh, on the market for this year, and it's called Christmas Mouse. It has small, rounded bracts that almost look like mouse ears. Well, Jordan, I actually ID'd a type of poinsettia, poinsettia, <laughs> winter rose, which is one of my favorites. Winter rose, those curled bracts that almost look like a rose, rose petals, very lovely. Um, of course, we're featuring orchids with red lips with these red poinsettias. Again, a nice combination. And over there, I call it Kalanchoe. I call it Kalancho. <laughs> I love these urns too because just that little bit of twinkling light, especially at night, very magical. And then with that little bit of whimsical touch. All right, Jordan. Calla lilies, how many in here? Those are amazing. There's easily over 100 calla lilies in this room alone. And uh, again, that burgundy calla lily with the burgundy poinsettia, really nice combination. It goes really well with the tree skirts that we made for these oh, trees this as well. Is, this is so amazing. Hundreds of pine cones <laughs> we used and in, uh, individually painted to make these tree skirts. Um, and some of these we collected outside. We also collected some material from our outdoor garden throughout the summer. So um, hydrangea flower heads, we preserved and dried them pompous grass, amaranth, and we used all that to create floral chandeliers that are hanging in this room as well. So this is the whimsy? This is the whimsy. <laughs> with our home for the holidays theme, our sunken garden feels more like a cozy living room with planted uh, armchairs, a grandfather clock, additional elements, and a mantle to make it feel very cozy in here. The chair's pretty, but... But don't sit on it. <laughs> wow. Well, those look familiar and you know how much I love them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these are, um, you know, fan favorite, our colorful orbs and cones that are usually outdoors. We've brought them indoors this year. Uh, and one of the reasons is because um, we're putting a brief hiatus on our outdoor winter light garden. But we've brought a lot of those lights indoors. This year, um, we are doing time ticketing. So reserve your tickets in advance through our website online. And we're limiting uh, visitors per hour. These poinsettias. Or poinsettias. Are my favorites these these hybrids are just amazing and tell me about this pink one yeah i have a new favorite this year <laughs> the bright pink is jador hot pink i love the little white margins along the bracts. it really just makes those shapes pop well i remember making these paper chain garlands when i was a kid yeah me too what a great memory um and what was so wonderful is that this summer we had volunteers uh, work on making these at home so it's great to, to give them a project that they could work on over the summer bringing this color scheme of this room together made me so happy that it just put a, puts a smile on my face 
I can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell, I know, you can't tell. But I, I hope that, you know, this Winter Flower Show does the same for our visitors. Come visit, I hope it puts a smile on their face. As always, thank you so much. You're welcome, Doug. You should get out here and see the Winter Flower Show in person. It's a holiday tradition. Back to you in the studio. It's always so beautiful. Oh, they do a great job. It really transforms you into a, another zone. It does. And I love that they don't agree on poinsettia or poinsettia. Kind of like us. Kind of like us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you are going to need to make a reservation to get your tickets in advance to see the show. And you can do that online. And it runs through January 3rd, so you still have plenty of time. And we should say there is no outdoor light display this year. Instead, look for the lighted displays inside FIPS. You saw some of those really cool sort of or orbs that they have normally outside inside this year. And we also want to thanks, thank FIPS for the beautiful holiday display and for sponsoring today's segment here on PTL.